Brian Gallen remembers his sister, Cherica, and her two friends, Saliana Edwin Santos and Julia George. The three girls love to sing and dance and call themselves the Star Squad. Over the weekend, Gallen tells KUAM he believes the trio was visiting a friend in the Gil Baza subdivision. Because they didn't have a ride, they began their trek home to Agafagumas by foot, where they were believed to be hit by a car early Saturday morning. Their sudden deaths have rattled the local FSM community. You know, if we don't stand up, if we don't say anything, if we don't bring this out to the community, if we don't um, sh bring awareness, then no one's going to do anything. There's going to be another hit and run, and it's going to be the same thing. According to Nate Wine Foundation founder and executive director Eddie Nathan Winnis, two of the girls were Ponapayan and one Coast Ryan. The girls have been identified as 19-year-old Cherica Gallen, 16-year-old Sally Edwin Santos, and 16-year-old Julia George. Santos and George are sophomores at Simon Sanchez High School, while Cherica Gallen is a recent graduate from the Jigo School. Earlier this year, the Nate Wine Foundation was established to empower the local Micronesian community, specifically the FSM and address issues affecting them. In response to Saturday's fatality, Winnie says a candlelight vigil will be held this weekend at the scene of the crime. I think these three girls, um, because of them, um, I know our community was like, they had a big impact on our community because they were so young and, um, you know, they died so unexpectedly. Um, we feel like this is our time. This is the time to actually stand up and try to do something about this. It was early Saturday morning the Guam Police Department responded to an incident along Chalon Ramirez in Jigo. On the scene were three unconscious women along the roadway leading to the Gil Baza subdivision. Although two were pronounced dead, one remained in critical condition for hours before passing away. The incident was classified as a hit and run with GPD releasing the description of the suspect vehicle as a Nissan with damage to the front of the car and possible damage to the windshield and missing plastic undercarriage cover of the fender. On Monday, GPD spokesperson AJ Balahaja confirmed they believe to have identified the suspect driver but arrests are pending autopsies. For Winnis, his biggest hope is that justice is served. Our people feels that like no one's working on it. No one cares about our people. No one cares about finding the truth, um, you know, to bring justice to the family of the people who died. The reason why we think that um, it is like very important is because this is not the only one, um, the only hit and run that we've ever had in our community on Guam. We've had so many and like so many of them were, were unsolved until today. For Brian Gallen, he asked the community to stay strong as his sisters are in a better place. He also encourages people to stay off the road because he does not want to see this happen to anyone else. The candlelight vigil is set for Saturday, December 6th at the scene in Jigo. Showtime is 7 p.m. with the ceremony set to begin at 8 p.m. For more information, visit the Nate Wind Facebook page or call 838-3632. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.